Hello and welcome back to our next panel discussion. We have some amazing guests here today. David Dad from Armel, UK, and Jonathan Savage, Ireland, from Clearlift, one of our very good old friends. There is no event with EP without Jonathan on stage, I would say. So what we're going to do now is that we're going to talk with two experts, two absolute experts, about their experiences in heavy-duty applications. Uh, Jonathan is on uh, uh, Pellet Express and, and Keelings. Um, uh, Armel has done the Woodland Group and of course everybody knows Aldi. And we would like to hear more about your experiences in getting these customers, uh, getting it running, but uh, me as interested in after sales also, how do you keep it running? And Jonathan, starting with you, Pellet Express, we are running now things for three and a half years. So maybe you can explain more the urgent questions on our mind. How are things going today? Uh, very well, very well. It all started off with them moving premises, having uh, a fleet of diesel trucks, wanting to move to electric. But when we came along, they wanted to move to the, uh, lithium. The guys from Pallet Express said, it's too good to be true. So um, we need to have some more evidence that this truck's going to work for us. Around the back of the factory, there's a really a rough bit of ground with a very steep uh, concrete uh, ramp. So I made sure that I got on the truck, got the engineer to video me, lifting a 3.5 ton weight, where it's only a three ton truck, going up the hill, stopping dead, lifting, lowering, and then taking off. That in its own right, and that sold kind the of truck. Sold that was the truck, it, yeah. that was a deal sealer. So um, I went back to Ireland, reported, popped up on my laptop, showed the guys the video, told them it's not too good to be true. It is, it is the real deal. And uh, we done the deal. Um, initially it was for 14 trucks. Um, three and a half, four years on, I think we have 30 machines. And you rent everything, eh? We rent everything. So that, that was another key, a key point to what you were saying earlier on about the, the four elements. One is risk. So we have built up a hire fleet of about 800 units in Ireland. And our standard terms are 12 month rolling contracts. So we took a lot of risk with EP. We have a long standing relationship with EP, as you know. Well, when did you start again with us? 2012, 2013. At the start, we were maybe one of the only companies in the world renting trucks. Yeah. You know, so the after sales thing really came into it. And if you want a brand new truck in one year's time, you have the right to do that. Nobody does, by the way. We have trucks in for eight, nine years. Um, so that's, uh, that was very important for us, taking the risk, and then it was easy for them to make the decision. How many hours do these trucks have on them now or until you replace them with, uh, with the new ones? What would you say, annually? Yeah, they're doing about 1,700 to 2,000 hours a year. The interesting thing is that you started with 3,000 pellets a night, you moved to four and a half. When you have designed your truck on day one with a lead acid battery, you're stuck. But with lithium, it's, it's scalable. You can just put it on charge. Yeah, yeah. But I think when we, when we look at you, uh, I think you're the king of, uh, of working hours. <laughs> it, yeah. I, you have a case of, what is it, 4,000 hours a year? Yeah, we, we've got some uh, trucks in one of our customers that are doing um, just under 4,000 hours a year. Um, Unbelievable. They're in a 24-7 um, fa um, warehouse. Yes, I mean, it's unbelievable. So this is, this is Woodland Group, right? Yeah, this is Woodland Group. Our relationship with Woodland Group started about seven years ago. And they've got just under 150 trucks with us at the moment. About five years ago, they made a, a big commercial company statement that all their uh, forklifts are going to become uh, electric. Um, so they put a brand new facility into Coventry we were asked to go in there and quote for new trucks. Um, we're in a situation where, you know, we started to gain all their sites and, and all of their work because we'd saved them so much money. We then got involved with EP. They never really heard of EP, to be fair. We were lucky with the relationship we had um, that, you know, they sort of not believed us, but we could prove what we were doing. You were allowed to prove yourself. Yeah, we were allowed to prove ourselves. We were allowed as a test example to to do it. So we then got hold of this large site in Doncaster, 495,000 square foot. It's, you know, one of the biggest buildings I've ever been in. 
um, and we put some EPs in there, we had, you know, in the normal demos and runs, and we had ours on test, and it matched, it matched up um, performance-wise um, to, you know, to to exactly what they needed. So they they they, they took the bullet and, and went from there, really. <laughs> but. Yeah. yeah, and now running 6,000 hours. Yeah. Now running 6,000 hours. The thing that frustrates me about the industry is the, you know, I don't want to talk about all sales guys, but the sales guy that goes in, right, it's a two and a half ton diesel, and, oh, right, well, we'll price for a two and a half ton diesel, and they're lifting 500 kilo pallets. That's what frustrates about the industry, and that's where, just not an EP thing, but an EP with lithium and you're making people think differently, it gives you a perfect platform. Starting point, huh? So, yeah. Starting point back. saying, do you really need this? Yeah, go back to the beginning. What do you need, you know? We, we've got all these products in our range. Let's pick the right product. Not what you've had, but let's pick the right product. And that is invaluable as a service provider, as well as a, uh, a cost saving, as well as great news for the manufacturer. It's a win-win-win. You had the confidence to get in there, the door would go open because you had the Pellet Express experience behind you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, I, and I think now you've got your woodland experience. Hey, I, we can do anything. Yeah? yeah, absolutely. I mean, we got contacted by our our local distribution centre of Aldi and uh, they, they had a few hire trucks and they were having a little bit of trouble with their, their local supplier. Uh, and their national account. We got invited in to see them, um, have a conversation, and um, they were interested in pallet trucks, so more for the battery changing facility of their current parent trucks. But we supplied some, worked well, liked the product, and then you just ask the question, oh, what are you doing with those Lindy diesels? You know, um, well, we're trying to be green and you know, we, we're looking at our carbon footprint. And I was like, well, you know, we... That's my story, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Hello, <laughs> hello. <laughs> Come and talk to me. But yeah, so they went in, replaced their diesels. Audi love the truck, they sing the praises. Sales is easier, prices are better, service is simple and easy, costs are okay. It's interesting to hear how relaxed we are talking about customers like this.